Hello there fellow summoners, MadDogHT here, going into this month's um, December event quest. Yesterday we had the event quest completion, solo event on, so I knocked out some of the stuff while that was on to get some more units and items and whatnot. So this Luke Cage is the first boss. He actually has quite a bunch going for him. Tough as nails, um, boost buff armor up where he's going to basically consume an armor up when you crit. Slap me not, which basically doesn't let you nullify all the time. Fight or flight, which um, will get him an unstoppable on the timer, but you can get it if you're far away from him. Armored assault, if he has an armor up, um, he goes fully unblockable. And then aspect of death, which basically after the special, there's a short period of time where if he touches you, you are dead. So. Um, I went in with Thing on my first attempt, and yeah, I mean, Thing is probably not like the most ideal um, option. He can um, nullify, you know, his crit rate isn't great, but he does crit. Um, you can see that he did get an armor up buff after that three seconds. So basically, if you don't hit him every three seconds, he's going to get an armor up buff, and then he's going to be fully unblockable, like so. So we can go, go in, try to smash him, try to get a crit. Boom, we don't get any crit, so he's still fully unblockable. And then you have to watch out with that fight or flight. Um, you want to be far away from him when that unstoppable timer comes up so that you get the unstoppable and he does not. Um, so it looks like this is kind of getting a little bit out of hand. He had three armor ups, but there I got three good crits. Took off all of those armors and now it's kind of just back to normal fighting um, and yeah I just think there's just a ton going for this fight that I don't know for I mean Luke Cage is definitely not like the most difficult fighter but there's just a lot to a lot to, to watch out for and a lot lot going on and then even on top of like the unstoppable the aspect of death the armor up buffs and you know not doing damage him being fully unblockable he still has his indestructible as well and yeah so it, you know it is whatever and now he's going passive he's building up those armor ups um, which really can can hurt you as far as like needing to be able to do damage I'm getting some decent intercepts in here there I'm playing this okay I mean I've gotten hit a few times but you're gonna see at the very very end um, he's gonna have thrown a special one I believe and then late uh, shortly thereafter I'm gonna go in for an intercept and I'm gonna die because aspect of death you, there's just not there's nothing around it um, you either you just die you get touched you die um, you know things protection I'm pretty certain it will not um, help um, it's just instant death for for anything anybody and you see like now he's got th he's got three armor ups four armor ups i mean i'm getting some decent crits going to remove some but you have to be pretty aggressive um the one nice thing with thing is if you throw a special you do get that ability to remove unstoppable so you can see on that last one i removed the unstoppable yeah so right there i went in for an intercept and he went straight into a special and and he killed my thing with just a little bit of health left so that was unfortunate so I actually used super scroll I actually took him to rank 2 um, this last week and I used him online and man his damage was not all that great um, he can get armor breaks um, and I think you actually need the synergy with um, iron fist but you know 20k damage he took that down pretty quick plus he had all the fury things up from the cross fights because i used him in two fights and he gets the assist so um yeah so quite an interesting fight and i know that there's been like a lot of people that have been complaining about like the nodes and stuff as far as this chapter one goes where you can use fantastic four champs and i can't remember what the other champs you can you that you're supposed to use um you know, I have my my Fantastic Four team is is just doing great. Um, so I'm gonna go back in this next attempt with She-Hulk, and I do have the Power Sting synergy going on. So She-Hulk was um, 
her tag that actually lets her get the benefits on the quest is the, being, a, being a member of the A-Force team. And then you can also have a new Avenger. So we're going to go in with She-Hulk. And the nice thing with her is that one, she hits really hard when she's ramped up. So she can, she can get around a lot of the damage mitigation that goes on with the armor ups and the indestructibles and whatnot. Plus I'm going to have the Mr. Fantastic Synergy, which every time he throws a special, he will um, take damage from all the debuffs that are on him. I do apply all three Mr. Fantastic debuffs on him. That's just going to help with the power power control and whatnot. The other, you know, the debuff siphoner and the petrify really don't do much of anything, but the uh, suppression, the suppression does definitely help. Um, and then She-Hulk has the slow, so, you know, with her heavy knockdowns, she can keep off that unstoppable, so you can stay very aggressive, stay close, you don't have to worry about getting far away. Um, I had to quick, do a quick pause and take care of something real quick, came back. So here, I mean, basically, you have that slow up, you don't have to worry about unstoppable coming up, you can just ignore it. And we're going to heavy spam him over in the corner when we can, when he's under a bar of power. You can see he's getting some power stings. Um, be careful with that aspect of death um, after he throws a special. And you can see like the suppression definitely does help get in more heavies, um, chaining them in the corner and stuff when he's gaining less power. And then I also have max petrify um, on the masteries so it's 30 percent less combat power gate gain um, while he's under the stun so yeah she hulk does great for this one we do get the solo and yeah just trying to keep him over in the corner as much as possible keep the slow active where possible so that way he cannot get the unstoppable and then we're just gonna just smash him over in the corner he throws a special he gets stung and I think we're gonna finish it off right here. So yeah, She-Hulk is a great option. I'm really happy to have her ranked up as a six star and awakened. I'm considering using um, a catalyst on her to take her to rank three. I'm just hoping that I get Mr. Negative before that, but we'll see. Um, and then last up, we're gonna go in with Sunspot. So Sunspot is a new Avenger. So I used him a little bit on the, on the path. Um, we're going to go in and just try to burn this guy down um, and just try to get around the nodes. You know, as long as you're aggressive, the loot cage won't get too many armor ups and then you don't have to worry about him being fully unblockable and um, you don't have to worry. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the, the, the biggest thing is being unblockable. The unstoppable piece. You're gonna see I mess I mess up, so I, I do end up dying on this one, and it's because I was a little probably a little bit too greedy with um, the uh, my my special ones, where I was trying to hold my heavies and stuff and and throw the special, thinking that I would get it off in time. You see there, it was just a little bit too late. So he gets the unstoppable, and then he just smacks me really good. Um, we're getting backed up a little bit. There we go, we retaliate. And we go again for another special one. And again, it was just a little bit too long. He gets the unstoppable again and he, he whacks me. Um, and then I thought right there I was gonna get to a special two and I was just gonna nuke him down. Um, but then I wasn't paying attention there. He gets the unstoppable again, um, but I don't get punished for it, which is nice. And then I thought that this might hit him and take him out but i lost all my solar flares and my flares my, my lost used up all my incinerate charges lost my flare states and so it didn't hit very hard and i and i wasn't able to to take him out because i thought that l2 was going to do it and it and it obviously didn't without any flare states so yeah that was unfortunate i think i was probably like a half a second too late and i just didn't notice and yeah i went for it pushed him to special three and I paid for it dearly. But no no worries, I mean, I didn't use any items or anything like that. We're just gonna go back in. I have Human Torch, we got the pre-fight active, and we're just gonna do a couple hits. He's gonna just melt and die. 
So hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what's gonna, what you're gonna see. Hopefully it helps give you some ideas of who you can use. I mean, really anybody, if you have somebody that crits a lot, it would be a really, really solid option. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.